Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a special look at the beta release of Holygon's Landshape. This is super cool. This is an extension that has been uh, uh, coming together for years. I've been seeing this at different events, Basecamp, uh, 3D Summit, and the Holygon guys have been demoing this and I've just been so excited to get to go in and see this. Um, it is a landscape modeling tool set, I guess is how I would call it, uh, but it's for terrain modeling. Um, I, I'm gonna start by saying, what I'm going to show in this next 10 minutes or so is not going to do justice to everything that Landshape can do. Um, if you are a landscape modeler, terrain modeler, anything like that, you do that kind of thing, go check it out. Link is in the description, check it out now. Um, it is an amazing tool set. We're gonna kind of fly over, we're gonna do like this, uh, you know, 10,000 foot view of what Landshape is, how it works, but I'm just gonna tell you right now, if this is of any interest to you, go get it, download it, the beta is available, uh, run it, try it out. It's an amazing tool set, and uh, let's take a look at it right now. All right, so this is the page. Uh, it is on Accenture Warehouse. Like I said, there's this a link to this down in the description below, but uh, you can just kind of see some of the stuff that's been put together here. Um, just beautiful landscape stuff and, and beautiful models. I mean, the Holygon guys do an amazing job with their models, great looking visuals. But uh, yeah, check this out, install it, try it out. It's pretty cool. When you do install it, you'll get this uh, start toolbar. So this toolbar is a kind of a, a, a kind of like the large tool set you get in SketchUp. This is a handful. It's not every single thing that Landshape in, includes, but it's a bunch of the big ones. It's a bunch of the big tools. If you go to view tool palettes after installing, come down to the bottom, you can see all these Holygon. There's a ton. There's a ton of tools because there is a ton of things that this, this software does. So like I said, my intention here is to just kind of hop through and show you some of the stuff it does, but to truly understand and appreciate this, you're going to have to download it and play with it yourself. So, all right, enough of that. Let's uh, let's do some let's do some terrain modeling. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new terrain. Um, so this tool allows you to real quickly just create a grid, uh, not too dissimilar from like uh, the from scratch tool in Sandbox tools, but uh, I don't know, a little easier, a little quicker, um, but I'm just gonna kind of click out here and just get a grid put in. So one of the first things you notice it does is it doesn't leave you with that existing, the grid, right? The triangle grid that you see when you do that, uh, it, it smooths it all automatically, which is super cool. And now at this point, we have the ability to go in and, uh, you know, start moving some geometry around just like we do, like I said, this, this part feels very similar if you've used uh, the native modeling sandbox tools, this feels familiar. Um, very similar, uh, I think it's actually pretty pretty smooth process. Uh, I've never had, I have played around with this quite a bit and even when I get to a bigger model, I don't end up with a lot of lag. Um, you can come in here and you can see there's a couple of options down here. So I have the ability to put in a radius or a uh, um, blend. So the blend actually controls how how the kind of the fall off here. So let's go, if we go like a 20% blend, I'll get much more, look at those hard edges, see that? If I go to something like a 75% blend, I get a nice soft pull up there and that's, that's something that does set it apart from what the uh, the SketchUp version does, because the SketchUp version doesn't let you set a blending amount. Um, it's it's not 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 this smooth, I would say. It doesn't. And speaking of smooth, sorry, I'm, I'm kind of I'm mumbling here because I'm just I'm playing. I'm I'm just making bumps. Uh, one of the other things I really like in here uh, is this smooth brush. The smooth brush lets you come in and smooth stuff look at this i love that look how cool that looks and go in and the longer i sit on a spot if i want to really drive that down i can really grind that down to nothing 
but I can go in and I can make much smoother geometry. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but this is all just flying along. I'm having no slowdowns, no, nothing's dragging or anything like that. Super performant, which I really love. Um, again, I'm just clicking on a couple of these because I think that there's some really cool stuff in here that is doable elsewhere, but because I come in and do it this way, it's just a little bit easier, you know? Um, so if I want to add, oh, okay, water. I'm going to put water in here and we can decide how deep the water is. As I pull the water up, it's going to fill low spots. Or we'll bring it back down. There we go. We got a nice river there. Let's go about that high. And there we go. Now I have water in there. Uh, some of the stuff is superficial, but it's still cool looking. So if I want to come in and see where the bottom, like, give me, give me, close this up and make it like a full model rather than just surfaces floating around. I can hit that terrain button, show me that piece on there. Um, I can see the concentric uh, contour lines by toggling that on. It is just a super easy to use, quick, uh, simple tool. I, simple to use. It's not like a, a, a dumb tool. It is a very powerful tool and it is very, very easy to get the hang of. This, like I said, I'm I'm just showing you what I could do in about three minutes of modeling using this tool. It's pretty amazing. Uh, there is, if you do want to get into this and see some more, there the first button on this start bar is learn. So this actually tells you every single command and how to use it. So it is well documented. Um, and like I said, this is it's a beta. So the Holygon guys are putting it out there for you to use and want your feedback. So uh, you know, try it out. Let them know what you think. Go to the Holygon website. I know we sh we showed the, uh, you know, I just showed the, uh, if I come up right now, this is, what is it? August of 2025. And the first featured extension is Holygon Landshape. But if you come in here, um, you can contact them directly and, you know, give them feedback, ask for questions. Uh, if you want to see the actual plans to purchase, you can go to the their shop. But uh, yes, great stuff, um, good learning materials, and just the things this can do. Great, great tool. If you do any kind of train modeling, I highly recommend checking it out. If you know, if you know this, if you've been following the development of Landshape, then you probably, you may already have it. But if you don't, and you know, you knew it's been coming, you've seen it demoed at a base camp or something like this, now's the time. Check it out. Try it out. Let the users know what they think. Let me know what you think because I think this is a super, super exciting, super fun to use uh, extension. And uh, I can't wait to see what y'all do with it. Um, so yeah, I'm a fan. I like this. I haven't had a chance to play with it a whole lot. I've, like I said, I got into that start toolbar came up and I just walked down there and started playing around. Um, so I didn't do it justice. If you watch the videos the, or look at the image that these guys create with it, oh, it goes so far beyond the little poking it stuff I just did, but I wanted to get you excited to check this out because this is one of those extensions that you could actually build an entire workflow around inside of SketchUp. How you create train could be turned upside down based on this extension. So go grab it, check it out, try it out. Leave a comment if you've tried it, what you like, like about it. Um, like I said, reach out to the Holygon guys if you got feedback. This is great software, worth checking out. Try it out. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Uh, it could be about this. It could be about other extensions. It could be about ideas that you think we should make videos about or live model on our Friday live sessions. Uh, whatever your thoughts are, leave them down below. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.